Us Americans think we're pretty special, but I think we're pretty easy to imitate. Behind me are eight people who claim to be born and raised Americans, but four of them are lying. All eight of them will get to ask each other questions over four rounds, and after each round, they'll get to vote one person off who they think is the non-American. Will the Americans be able to eliminate all four imposters, or will one person not born in America find their way in? Oh! What are you doing here? Oh! She's so patriotic. He's insane. Ew. I'm very good. I pledge allegiance. I don't know. You are not from Queens. What? Good luck, guys. Have fun with this. Whoa! Hey, baby! We give the imposters 24 hours to study and prepare. They're allowed to lie, fake accents, or do whatever they want to appear more American. Well, let's kick off round one with some introductions. Everyone can give your name, where you're from, and what it means to be an American. My name is Bo. I was born and raised in Santa Barbara. To be American means to freely express yourself. America's notoriously a cultural mixing pot. We're judging who's an American by people who were actually born here. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Helen. I'm from Queens. I think to be American means freedom and equality for all. They all have accents, bro. For me, being America is owning the whole world, this country, because we own it, America. She's so patriotic. Oh, yeah. My name is Doha. I was born in New York City, Manhattan. I also have my buddy Doha out there. You guys might recognize him from the videos. Doha! Doha! I love this man. My name is Daniel. I was born in Columbus, Ohio. Bro, they're gonna have to be like master actors. All these actors are coming out as like British people. Margot Robbie. Margot Crazy. Robbie? She's Australian. She's yeah. Australian? Yeah. It's actually easier to do coming from an Australian accent than doing a standard American accent. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to her. That's actually freaking crazy. Hi. My name is Rebecca Tarabakia, and I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. I think she's putting an accent on. Bro, we've 100%. said that about every person so far. Ciao, or I might say hello. My name is Charlie Talman. For me, being American means having uh, freedom and liberty to be whoever you want to be. Hi, my name is Liza. For me, being an American, it means being aware of my privilege and also to see all the opportunities that I have. I have no idea. Do you guys have any questions that you want to ask people in the lineup? So uh, where'd you go to college? I went in uh, Japan. What was the name of the school? Ritz Mekan Asia Pacific University. What'd you study? I studied international relations. Go on, Dan, have a little beef going on right now. Go on, ready to fade. All right, now everyone has to guess who they think the imposter is. I would go with uh, Nikki. I think Nikki is for sure done for. I think she's not American. Like, she's trying to express her too much. I agree. I think it's Nikki. I think she went a little too hard on the patriotism, bro. I think it's Bo because he's dressed as a surfer. He's overcompensating in his dress style. Um, I also think Nikki. I think Helen because she's flying under the radar. I'm in the same team with you, so I'll go with Helen. I think it's Lisa. I think it's Doha. Oh! Why would you study in Japan and then come back to the USA? Why I can't study international school? I don't know, I just feel like the world's your oyster, so what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> it is a true story, Doha's just a weird guy. All right, all the votes are in with three total votes. The first person eliminated is Nikki. I think I got chosen in the first round because everyone is confused. Interesting. Bye, Nikki. Bye, Bye Nikki. She's 100% an imposter. Yeah. Round two. Why don't you guys tell me what type of music you listen to? I love everything retro. She gives me very European vibes. I like listening to Billie Eilish as well and lots of uh, dramatic stuff. I would say I'm a drama queen. Bo's an imposter, bro. He's an imposter. Billie Eilish is kind of like a good vibe when you go through the breakup or write a poem for, for a girl. For a girl. That wasn't very American to no. say. I have a question for Bo. Do you prefer Sandra Bullock or Anne Hathaway? I would go with Anne Hathaway. I would go on a date with her. Keep saying weird stuff too. Doha, what was your favorite cartoon while growing up? Uh, uh, ben. The kid that has like a watch and then Oh, he... Ben 10. Ben 10. Dude, Doha is actually American and is so sus right now. <laughs> I know. What was your favorite cartoon? SpongeBob. Oh. Well, was yours, Rebecca? Uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and <laughs> Tom and Jerry. <laughs> well, Tom and Jerry is pretty worldwide. They don't yeah. even speak English in it. I watched a lot of SpongeBob. I had three SpongeBob birthday parties. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Wow. No, bro, that guy's from the UK for yeah, sure. Really? Definitely, bro. Dude, if he's acting, he's insane. Has anyone been on a like a big concert? I have seen the Killers. Where? At the Rose Bowl. Is that a city?
It's in Pasadena. He's sussing himself out. He's asking yeah. questions about America and he's like, oh, really? I didn't know that. So, what's your favorite football team? I don't know, uh, Yankees. He said the Yankees. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he said the Yankees. Yankees. <laughs> That's baseball, bro. I didn't even know that and I suck at sports. Bo's done, bro. Okay, good answer. Can we all say our favorite candies? Because I feel like every country has like their own. Every single candy, like Snickers. I like the spicy ones. Though. Spicy Snickers? They do not sell that, that in America. All right, time for the round two, elimination. I'll go with Bo, because the Yankees are not a football team. That is not very American. Dead giveaway. But you know what is super American? Car accidents. Come on, what did I just do? They can happen to anyone at any time, so a big thank you to our sponsor, Morgan & Morgan. We love you, Morgan & Morgan. Eliza's voting. I think. Bo is an imposter? Yeah, Bo's done, dude. Toasted. There are more than 600 car accidents in the U.S. every hour, and whether it's big or small, hiring a lawyer can be a helpful way to navigate the insurance claim process. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds good. Morgan and Morgan. Morgan, Morgan and Morgan. I would also go for Bo. He gives me some European wipes. Now I know hiring a lawyer seems like a drastic step, but Morgan and Morgan has made submitting an injury claim super easy. We're talking eight clicks or less. Easy. Eight. I can count to eight on both of my hands. I would hope to God you can. I would say Dan. Why? I don't know. I'm sorry, Dan. <laughs> what? You can sign documents, upload pictures, share medical records, and doctor bills all from your phone. I think Charlie. Was it because of the spicy candy? I know it was. That, that too. I've, I've been watching you ever since you walked in here. Yeah, Charlie's out. If you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim at eight clicks or less without having to leave your couch. For more information, go to forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. Be thick, boy! That's a thick ass ball! All right, last vote. What's Ellen gonna say? It's Bo with the whole football thing. Bo just got annihilated. Bo, why do you think you got voted out this round? Usually uh, competitors, uh, they want to get rid of the brightest star. <laughs> Charlie. Yes. <laughs> Spicy Snickers guy's next, bro. Tell me about yourself. Okay, I was born in uh, El Paso, Texas, but I am come from a uh, Mexican mother and Mexican-Italian father. I could see his parents giving him spicy Snickers. I'm not buying it. So you went to high school here in the... Yes, the USA. In Texas? Texas. What makes Texas chili, like, from Texas? What do you mean chili? Like... Chili, the food. I don't know. Oh. What? You don't even know what chili is? Oh, dude. All right, Becca, tell me about yourself. I was born and raised in LA. What do you guys think of Rebecca? I think she was born here. She gives me like Wisconsin, middle of America vibes. My dad is Italian and my mom is from Sweden, so I also speak Swedish. I think Rebecca and Dan are masters, bro. Dan is gonna flip a switch and he's gonna be like, oh, you guys didn't really know where I was from, did you know? What's the capital of y'all's home state? Columbus. Sacramento. It's Houston, right? It has to be Houston, right? That's your state. <laughs> Dude, Dan is sussed out. Look at this guy. All right. We're going to play Finish the Lyric, Pledge of Allegiance Edition. Starting with Helen, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the Republic. Oh, bro. <laughs> United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands. One nation. Back to Doha. <laughs> Deferred to Dan. With liberty? Incorrect. For all. Incorrect. With justice and liberty? Incorrect. With liberty and justice. To Doha to round us out? I don't know. <laughs> With liberty and justice? For all. There it is. All right, time is up, guys. I'm gonna go for Charlie. I would also go for Charlie. You live in Texas, right? Yes. But he doesn't even know the capital of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I will go with Doha, just because of the Pledge of Allegiance thing. He was born here, That's but true. he went to school, not in America. I would totally go with Charlie. Well, I, I would go for uh, Doha. Yeah, I'm sorry, Doha. Okay, that is a tie. So I'm gonna give you one minute to plead your final case. So I have a very international background. My family from Pakistan, and I lived most of my life in Japan. I moved to the US like two years ago. He has the most abstract story, but it's all true. Yeah, he's not lying. My accent. I know it's a very like particular thing. My spicy kind of like taste, because I know like Americans don't eat like spicy things. I low-key feel like Charlie's story is more believable than Doha's. Doha said it with confidence though. <laughs> All right, time is up, guys. If you think it's Charlie, raise your hand. Doha, come on! I, I think I got butted up because of my accent and my English, the way I speak and I stumble sometimes in English. I feel pretty good about their choices.
Can you guys each kind of explain if I hear an accent like where or why that would be? So my mom is from London, which is why I have like such an affinity with it and why I went there to study. Uh, most of my life I lived outside US, so. But you said you spend most of your time in Japan? Yeah, in Japan. Do you speak Japanese? Yeah. Oh, that was a quick answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you? What about me? Where does your accent Where come from? Where are your from? parents from? <laughs> um, my parents are from Springfield, Ohio. I don't think I have an accent at all. My mom's Swedish and I grew up speaking both languages. She doesn't have an accent, bro. She does a little bit, I hear it. Well, I was born in Southern California, so I don't know. I just read that the hardest words for British accent people to say in American is Carhartt and house. Oh, I got it, okay, I'm gonna ask. Could I have each person say Carhartt? Carhartt. Carhartt. Carhartt? 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 House, house, house. Did you guys say house? House. 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 I got one more word. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Oh, damn. What? Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Whoa! Terrorism? <laughs> 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 Dan, can you sing national anthem? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, say, can you see? Yeah, no, that's about all I know. Look at this right now, they're all focused on Dan. What goes best with root beer? Dan asked ChatGPT what are the best questions to ask Americans. <laughs> yeah. Ew, nothing. What do you mean? Like a root beer float? You don't like sassafras? No. Yeah. It's delicious. No, I don't like sodas. That's from my Swedish side. We don't, we don't like sugar. Well, us Americans love sugar. I know, that's why you all have diabetes. I do not have diabetes. You will. <laughs> oh! Dan is getting broke. All right, we're gonna call it there, guys. Here we go. I think it's Dan, because he can't recite the national anthem. So. I agree. There's not a lot of people that can do that. We didn't have to do that every morning in school. I think half the people that we voted off are probably American citizens. I think all of you are probably not. Oh, he's making enemies out there. I'm gonna go for Dan. I'm just gonna stick to my guns and uh, Helen, you are not from Queens. Okay. okay. I feel like Dan just like learned some facts or something. Oh, that's exactly wow. what we said. The vote is four to one. Dan is out. Made it this far to get voted <laughs> off. Yeah, you're out. All right, yep. Yeah. Bye, Dan. I want to know so bad. Bye-bye. All right, you guys are the last ones left. Supposedly all Americans. How do you guys think you did? I think we might have maybe like one or two imposters. I feel like you guys made a 100% accurate choice in my opinion. Here we go, boys. I'm sus about Helen and Rebecca. I think there's about to be a huge plot twist. <laughs> so they had the flag pressed against their back, and on the count of three, they're going to reveal their country. Oh, I'm nervous. Will the Americans please reveal their identities in three, two, one, go. What? No! You're kidding! No way! No way! Wow. Wait a second. Helen, what, what country are you from? The UK! Oh my oh. god! Hi, this is my British accent. I can't believe I fooled you all. All right, Rebecca. I am native. Swedish. <laughs> She's sweet, I knew it! I knew it! Wait, can we hear your real accent? This is my real accent. I've been watching a lot of Friends growing up. <laughs> yeah. Liza, what country are you from? South Africa. <laughs> oh my god! We voted out all the Americans, bro. All right, Bo, what country are you from? I'm from Ukraine. Wow! I guess uh, NFL question killed me. And he goes down hard! Everyone who was an American, you guys got voted out. What do you think happened? They thought it was just a big facade. For me, it would be the accent. I just think that I displayed myself as very mysterious and people cannot stand the unknown. I'm shaking up right now. I can't trust anyone. I think this just proves that uh, America truly is a mixing pot. Well, I'm dumb. Me too. Let's agree on that. If you want to watch my friend James from Too Hot to Handle try to find out if his date is in it for love or for money, you can watch that video at the end of this. That's pretty much it. I'm leaving. On your iPhone, you're able to change the accent. I just changed my phone accent to British. Why is yours such a British? I like the way they talk.